On a small campus in Moorhead, Minnesota, you can feel it. To those that live here and the students, it's part of the culture. To a visitor, you understand the tradition, how Concordia College has put its stamp on a program that has traveled the world. And it all starts right here. In a small room, they compete every day against themselves for perfection. Okay, you gotta be like the offensive line hitting the defensive line or here. And you can't let them win the battle of protecting the quarterback. At the heart is the man who showed up in 1986 and knew he had arrived at home. Obviously it was really exciting. I was 32 years old at that time, had some collegiate level experience, but still was relatively young in my career. Uh, uh, but all through that time of being at first at Wichita State University in Kansas and then in West Texas, Tech, West Texas State University out in the panhandle of, of Texas, in the back of my mind was uh, being at a Lutheran liberal arts school of the tradition that I came out of at, at St. Olaf. Clausen's dream job has been more than even he imagined, taking over a program that was well established and keeping it international where the Concordia Choir has performed and been educated, including a trip behind the Iron Curtain. I remember the anticipation that we all felt. We were on the plane, um, and we went direct from Minneapolis to St. Petersburg, Russia. And, you know, at this time, there was still relatively unknown terrain in behind the Iron Curtain. But what was truly, truly amazing, and I see this happen all the time with music, is as soon as we started singing, those barriers came down. Really? This is a man inspired by Star Trek. Yep, he's one of those. And if you look back to the original series from like 1966, with the international crew that was the original characters, that was very far beyond what anything we thought might be capable at that. This is the height of the Cold War. But above all, he is the guardian of a program that creates energy and interest and passion. started it through kind of an interesting turn of events, I went to uh, a Concordia Christmas concert down at uh, Orchestra Hall my junior year of high school. And uh, it was, I would, you know, it was arguably a life-changing experience. Yeah. It's been incredible. I mean, it was, it was a pretty big move, 400 miles away from home and moved myself up here and I, I knew I wanted to teach. I'm a vocal music education major, and I knew I wanted to teach, but I didn't know what, and I just ended up falling in love with the school first, and then the music program absolutely followed, and just, I gave it my whole heart. <laughs> Still has it, so. What I want to hear on page eight to nine is that virtually every bar or two, there's some other, there's some other color coming in. It's amazing what happens when you find your calling, and you know you found your calling, and it just feels so right. So this campus, is this just, when you walk on it, does it just feel special? Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, when you've spent all your life here, and I've got, I mean, most of my creative life has been here. My, I live just on the street two blocks, and so I have often walk to school, you know, except for in the middle of winter when it, you're leaning into the 40 <laughs> mile an hour north wind. A big part of it is right here in his office, where his mind is freed to pursue perfection, part art, part science. I'm doing a little transcription of a Bach chorale for uh, orchestra and chorus. And so this, what I'm doing here is uh, uh, trying to do some edit work. The 
The idea to bring together a group, each one different each year, and make it special for the audience and the participants. But we come together every day with one common goal, and that is the discipline that it takes to make great music. Well, isn't this the same on the football team? You can be, you can be an outstanding receiver, but unless you've got a good quarterback that can get it to you, what does it matter? You know, every day in rehearsal, I can't be your battery pack. I can't be your battery pack. You have to bring your own battery pack. Otherwise, I just get too tired. Thank you giving me everything. I try and be your energizer bunny. You, know, you have to bring that yourself, and then I can supercharge you. The Concordia Choir just keeps making beautiful music, and the Trekkie just keeps doing what he loves. Somehow, it all makes sense. My kids know I've got a couple of them standing here off almost every day, and, and they're here, so I have to tell the truth. I will end the rehearsal with, live long and prosper. Live long and prosper. Life to the Max is brought to you by Life Touch. Photography for a lifetime.